will start very soon. Yeah, it has. I haven't, I uh, have not finished saying the word recording is starting soon. The red button has begun appearing. Oh, Charisma just joined. It's quite late. It's already 12.59. No guardian is on. Please inform me of the reason why you just joined in the class. All right. Okay. Anyway, we're just starting with the lesson being recorded, but we did a bit of a warm up a while ago. All right. By the way, again, are you still with me? Top in the room at timestamp 12 59. Participation, participation, participation. At that timestamp, I must see your name for today's participation points. And you will see in your grade, participation points, participation today, participation today, participation today. It takes care of the business of uh, regarding your grade in this kind of learning when we are doing it online, okay? So it's always the best for you and me to be together in this kind of learning. All right, but just simply participating your name in the chat. Once again, if you need to share, click the raise hand button, keep the microphone muted, or use the, the chat capability. All right, again, I saw, I told you a while ago to type the word Africa, which you did, and I saw you did it. Otherwise, you haven't, please put that word Africa because I'm, uh, I will see your name on the report with the word Africa. That is say so you did participate, although it's late. Okay. Now, I do have a re the circular representation of the planet Earth, the globe. And we're going to on look at, only look at one of what we call the continent. There are several of them. And by the time we meet again next week, you will see and find out that we are getting into the details of the formation of the planet Earth with regards to number one, the different continents that make up the planet Earth, including the different organisms. We're gonna call it biodiversity. Oh, what a long word. Let me type the word because I will need you to type the word as well. I will type the word. If you can type it without my assistance, go for it. But I'll do it now. Biodiversity. Let me check my spelling. Yes. There you go. Could you please uh, put that word as well? Yes, some of you are copying and pasting, fine, fine with me. As long as you saw it in the chat and you have your name, biodiversity. In this particular word, we're not only looking at the top of the food chain, no. Not only this top, not only the lion, not only the tiger that we saw in our lesson last week with regards to the wolves and the deer at Yellowstone. And that's not in Africa. And that's in North America, the state of Wyoming. All right. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of an extension. We're going to go out of the country. Again, we're going to travel virtually. So far, we've been to Montana, virtually. We've been to Wyoming, virtually. How I wish we can go. And now, we are going to go on to the other side of the world. Let's go to Africa. <laughs> are you still with me? Waiting, waiting. Yeah, let's okay, imagine. We're going to Africa. Well, Africa is a massive continent with many countries, and they are highly diverse. Both people as well as organisms. They do have an enormous number of 
Edward once again. A timestamp 104. I must see your name. They have an enormous different kinds of ecosystems. Fabulous. All right. I can tell you so many stories about this continent. How much time do you have? <laughs> no, I'm just going to select something that I can tell you that is related to the lesson right before my eyes. All right. I've been there many times. Okay. Ecosystem, you're right. We said that an ecosystem is made up of living things like plants, animals, and the different things that are not even alive. Again, back to the simple example. What did I point? Type in the room. What, what am I pointing? Type in the room. Uh, Timestamp 105. You got to see me. What am I pointing? What is this? A fish tank. Yes. Maria did it. What about the rest of 105? I'm waiting. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. A fish tank or an aquarium. Let me see who did it. Yes. Or oh, an aquarium. Mm -hmm. It's a typical, typical ecosystem. Wherein there are animals, realistically there are fish, but not this one. The germs, bacteria. Oh, Cesar, why now? I was looking for you a while ago. Okay, are you disconnected? Stay, stay with yes. us. Oh, good. Stay with us. That's that. I think that's. Uh, I don't know. That maybe that's a disadvantage of the mobile phone. Well, I'm glad that you're able to join. Okay, I'm glad. And yeah, bacteria. Fungus, and among others, and they are cohabiting, meaning to say, together. Like us, we need to have that oxygen in the air, water to hydrate ourselves, and the oxygen and water are non-living things. So, we are part of an ecosystem. It's made up of a living things and non-living things. All right. Now, many times there are, there are competitors competition by the way type the word competition i'm waiting at 107 competition compete i'm waiting competition let me type the word compete yes yeah. there is a competition mm -hmm. like for instance a competition between, uh, in the Yellowstone National Park, competition between the deer and the wolf. They may be competing for habitat or place to live. Well, originally, back 70 years ago, you remember that number of years, almost 70 years ago, at the Yellowstone National Park, most of them are deers. None of this. But again, scientists found out that when they add the animal at the top of the food chain, which is the wolf, they should be able to decrease the number of deers. So crossing a change in the ecosystem because remember they found out that most of the plants are dead because of the so many deers and upon causing the deer to change their behavior a lot of them move away then the plants grew again many birds different kinds of organisms there was a better biodiversity 
Did you hear what I say? Biodiversity. Could you type once again that word? Yeah. The bio I you should have the type prior to this moment. Yeah. There was a better biodiversity. There's eagles, songbird, more plants, the rivers. We said that the rivers had changed because there were more plants. So there's more plants that holds the soil of the river, thus avoiding landslide, erosion, instead of meandering, the rivers, the river change in shape, less meander, less zigzag, pretty much straight. And that over, that is over time. All right. Are you still with me before we go to the nitty gritty details of the African continent here? Yes. Excellent. I need you to keep this in mind. Uh, that there, an ecosystem can change because of the different animals as well as the plants. And that could have an effect on the population of the organism that inhabit a particular ecosystem. All right, let's look at the one of the nations, as I mentioned before the recording, that I want you to tell me, what is it? I'm going to move the globe closer to you, and I'm going to point. I'm going to look for that country and tell me. And you tell me, if I show you, if I, when I point the other country, tell me whether are they next to each other or quite far apart. Let me take a look. There you go. Africa, Africa. Let me see. Na, 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 na. Okay, there you go. Could you type this? All right, uh, let me spin the globe. Let me move a little bit closer. Lovely. Okay, uh, move a little bit closer. All right, this is Africa, that's India. This is not Africa. All right, that's Africa. And then let me find and point as I move. Could you tell me? Let's see. Oh, right here. Okay, uh, let's do a practice first. Type this, what is, what country am I pointing? What country am I pointing? Type in the, type in the room. Egypt, right. Okay, good. Glad that you can see this is the trial only. This is not the one that I want you to think about. But Egypt is in Africa. This is the one. There's two. Okay. Uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. What country is this? The tip of the pen. There, that, this one. Type in the room. Kenya. Right. Kenya. Everybody, please type the word Kenya. Let me, excellent, hold on. So I can see your, putting your contribution, Kenya. Here's another African country that, please make certain you know where it is. And if it is close or far from Kenya, which is known for wildlife biodiversity, the big five. If you remember, I asked you to search the big five back in time. All right. Let me locate the other country. That's Kenya. I found it pretty close. Next. Tell me, what country is this now? That's Kenya. And what about this? Type in the chat. Waiting. Yeah. Tanzania. Now, are they close together or are they far? Kenya, Tanzania. Are they close or? Yes, they're close. They have a land border, just like Mexico 
and United States. You can cross by land or by river. Just like Mexico and uh, United States, there is a river that divides the two. Here, there is also a river that divides the two nations, Kenya and Tanzania. All right. Now, I'm going to, hold on, computer is falling. All right. I'm going to type these two nations, Kenya and Tanzania. All right. Now, these are two nations in Eastern Africa that is known for rich biodiversity. Okay. Rich in biodiversity. I'm going to show you a clip and then later in time we're going to look at a, a brief but precisely made documentary clip about these two nations and the different animals that migrate migrate type in the chat the word is migrate i'm waiting 115 yes Christopher only, what about the rest? Yes, 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 migrate. They move away. They travel long distances. Similarly, think about the deer that migrated from the Yellowstone National Park because of the ferocious wolf they added, they, um, no, not they added, because there was no wall back in the 70 years ago. So they put a population of wolves at the Yellowstone, causing this deer to move away. Lots of them. Some of them struggled to survive. They died. Then, okay, good for other animals, they have food because of the carc carcasses, dead bodies which we had seen the scenario last week. This two nations, Africa and Kenya, there are animals that they move from one country to another country on a yearly basis. They migrate and then there is a reason why i i'm going to i'm not going to tell you right now why because uh, i want you to explore and find that out when you when you took the time to watch the short video clip but meanwhile i'm going to show you a clip that i have where's my phone yes in my in my mobile device everybody please this is a very brief, and could you tell me what these organisms or what these wildlife were doing? Or if you can go figure what kind of mammal is this? Let me pull it out. Okay. It's a 24 seconds video clip. Everybody, can you see? Dive in the chat. Can you see? It's not playing yet. I'm waiting. Can you see? Yes. Oops. I think I'm going to uh, have it steady. Let me get the riser. And the yellow tray so you can see. <laughs> All right. When you take when you took the time twenty seconds, please look at what was going on. All right, what was going on, and they're in Africa. And if you can determine what animal or animals are involved in this situation. 
you can type it in the room. All right, let me see. Can you see now? <laughs> can you see now better? Waiting. Okay, let me play. I will. I may play it a couple of times. Let me see, make certain there is a there is a sound. There is a volume. Excellent. Okay. I will play it once again. I can see people start typing. All right. I don't know. It's quite hard, isn't it? Some of you said it's a buffalo, others like a dog. <gasps> yes, you're right, we're the beast. Yes, it's a wildebeest. Yes, it is. Thousands of them migrate annually. And people, even scientists, cannot even explain why they are able to find their way to travel hundreds and hundreds of kilometers from Kenya to Tanzania and back to Kenya when food is available. Okay, did you hear me? I'm waiting. Did you hear me? Right? You should, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, scientists, and this has been happening for years, many years, and it's not just one. Thousands of them migrate, right? And it's a great thing to see, by the way. This is one of the videos that I, uh, luckily I was able to take a video when I was there. I was amazed. It's like, oh. I was speechless when I see this. All right, yeah. This is what we call the will, um, the wildebeest, my, the great wildebeest migration and uh Carlo, uh, no, it was uh christopher but some of you had a good a good guess nobody said it's a frog <laughs> yeah, of course because they are all mammals they look like a dog but they aren't they are massive They're ma but guess what why do you think they're all they that they travel together they're not traveling solo. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yes, to stay safe, you're right. They are always in a group. Even when they're not traveling, they're just grazing. Oh, by the way, so these are herbivores. Massive, huh? They're big, big, but they only eat grasses. Just grasses. They don't kill animals. 
and they are the one being killed. Mm, yeah, they struggle to survive when they travel. They do. Yeah, since they are traveling, migrating thousands of miles, kilometers, do you think they all make it? What do you think? No. No, 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 no. Not all of them make it along the way. What could you imagine? It could be a stampede. Huh? If you, if, 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 if there are small animals, then because of this so much ground, They can be stepped on. Right? Yeah. It's a struggle. What did I say? I said struggle. Type the word. Struggle. Waiting. At time stamp 128, 125. Struggle. Yes. Struggle. They struggle to survive. Yes. Well, I think, unfortunately, these animals, they always struggle. They primarily struggle most of the time. Yeah, just like the deers, when they introduce the bull, they start trying to struggling. You know, they may, they may be, oh, I'm a happy deer. And then all of a sudden you say, oh, dear, wolves are here. We got to run away, right? Oh, dear, oh, dear. The wolves are here. Then all of a sudden, things have changed. They got to change their behavior. You see, they, they take the risk of being eaten or they move away. Well, pardon me, a lot of them move away. Now, think about this uh, wildebeest that travels from Tanzania to Kenya. We saw it on the map. And they are big countries in the large Africa, but they are land border you can cross the river and that uh, you saw the river they're crossing the border all right now any idea could you type in the chat let me wait opinions are excellent huh you know there's no wrong answer when we try to reason out mm -hmm. could you type me a word or two why do you think this wildebeest are running. Let me tell you, running for life. Let me wait. Let me see how much wait time will I get. 127. Why do you think, in your opinion, I think, why are they running? Like, I'm kind of giving you a hint here. They're running for life. Why do you think this um, wildebeest are migrating and running and traveling long distances why let's see let's let's, let's take a quick uh take a moment and then a re uh, uh, uh read what your classmates had mentioned predators mm -hmm. good point good point i think they run so they don't get yes Yes, and what are the predators? Yes. Oh, what's the top of the food chain? Mm. Yes, lions. Yeah, tigers. Those animals that are at the end or the top of the food chain. Primarily, these are animals that no, no one else would like to run after them because they are ferocious and these animals the lions the tigers are the ones running after this herbivorous animals which is highly populated in those two nations in the world depending on the season though depending on the time in the video i will have you to take a look and make your mind uh, play around it and make a connection on what we are thinking about right now then i'm going to get back to you after the video you're going to tell me you're going to try to tell me 
why they move. Mm -hmm. Somebody said the predators. All right. So how are you doing so far, by the way? We're low, we're, 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 we are thinking like a, a geologist here, thinking like a, a, an animal enthusiast, thinking like an ecologist. How are you doing so far? Tell me your level of understanding. You know, five, four, three, three. What about the rest? Excellent. Oh, I wonder what happened to Vincent Leon, Cesar Rosales, Cesar Baez absent. Giovanna never responded the last time she did was attendance. Hmm. I told you, attendance will not finish the year with flying colors no 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 yeah you can no no yeah the only time you can finish the school with flying colors when in this kind of learning participate all the time not just waiting for a name to be called for attendance present 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 no. Ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of you are really doing the best. Okay? Yeah, right. So you know that we are always together when we have a lesson. Right? You always see me, and I all should always see you. Your name appearing. Okay? So anytime. So we're connected. All right, now. Okay, let me see who did reply to my question regarding what's your level of understanding. <laughs> That's pretty good, five and four, but I still have others who haven't responded yet. Uh, you know you are right now. Here's what I need to do. I'm going to play a short video clip. I'm going to stop the recording first. And then please uh, take this seriously. Watch this clip. And you will have, I guess, an aha. All right? I need you to make a connection on this. We're going to take a virtual field trip to Africa. All right? Let me stop the recording.